Hey guys, so I wanted to do a making of for this track because there's a few things about it that I think are quite interesting to talk about. So as most of you probably know, this originally was a section from my FF9 medley and I was uh, recently listening back to it and I got the feeling that I should do a long version of that solo and, and cover the whole song. So the first thing that I did was I finished that solo then I created the whole original intro and finally the outro. So the original song, Vermission Kingdom, is actually pretty simple in terms of orchestration. It's just a choir, well, two choirs actually, there's a female one and a male one, plus a big church organ playing underneath. Now the thing is, I wanted to play that organ part and keep the original choir from the track. So how do you do that? Well, it turns out that in these days, the CDs, the game CDs, actually contained all of the samples used in the songs. But just the samples for the actual notes played in the songs. So for example, if a song had like three trumpet notes, they would only put those three notes on the CD. And so in the end, when you extract all of the sounds from the CD, you get all of the noises and sound effects from the game, plus all of the notes of every instrument of every song from the soundtrack. Oh, see, that definitely sounds like the, um, a flute note from the place I written to someday. Yep. Would that be a frog from the, that scene with Quina, maybe? Oh, and that rings a bell too. That is probably a note from... What's that song? Um, Runes of Medane Sorry. Yeah, sounds like it. And so I went through all of these to find the, the choir samples from Burmishan Kingdom. Uh, for some reason, I didn't find all of the notes, so I just pitched some of them to get the ones that I didn't have. And I recreated that original choir, which sounds like this. And here's the original track to compare. It's only there for demo purposes. Uh, the track is muted in the final project. And then I played the organ part, the church organ part. I added some drums, some bass, and uh, another organ, a B4 Hammond organ, which is panned to the left side. And the church organ is on the right. And that's about it. Now the solo is quite interesting too, as you probably noticed in the, in the medley version it features a whole bunch of themes from the OST, like little references uh, here and there. Uh, it opens with the place I've written to someday, there's also a bit of Kuja's theme, Freya's theme, there's also the prelude. Oh there's Kuja, the evil theme. What else? Um, Melodies of Life. Endless Sorrow, and Gestures of the Moon. I've always loved doing things like that. It's a very prog thing. It's a progressive rock metal thing to play with themes like this. And one final thing I wanted to talk about is the ship music thing that I'm doing in the video. Since uh, some of you might be interested in knowing how I do that, so, 
once I have my sheet music ready in Sibelius, I use Sibelius, um, I put it in panorama mode. Uh, this way I have this long strip of sheet music. And then I need to export it as one image, uh, but I have to do it twice. The first time is just the notes alone, and the second time it's just the staff. So to get the staff without the notes, it's pretty easy. All you need to do is to hide everything on it. So that's Control Shift and H on PC, and no idea what it is on Mac. <laughs> and then to just export the notes, you need to go to Instrument there, and uh, in this menu you can edit the staff lines and uh, basically tell Sibelius that you want zero lines on it, and voila. And so then you export both of these and you import them into your video editing software, and then it's just a matter of animating the music with keyframes in order to synchronize it. Now this is quite a tedious process, I won't lie. It, it takes me a couple of hours to do this right, but it's really worth it in the end because it, it looks really cool, I think. So there you go. Um, I hope you guys found this interesting and uh, if you have any questions, ideas or uh, requests for other songs from my medleys that I could do full-length versions of, um, please let me know in the comments. Oh, and one last thing, I've done an instrumental version of this track, so in case some of you want to play your own solo over it, uh, the link is in the description box. It doesn't necessarily have to be on the keyboard, it could be on the guitar and the violin, and anything you want. And I'd love to hear what you guys can come up with. Okay, see ya!